Welcome to Maruping, uh, where uh, researchers in partnership with Vets University are about to make a major announcement with regards to a significant uh, discovery here at this site. Uh, but joining me to tell us a bit more about how the whole excavation process was done is uh, Professor Paul Dex, one of the lead geologists. Professor, thanks for making time to speak to us. Tell us how technical or challenging a process it was to get there to those uh, remains? Well, this particular cave is very different from many of the other caves that we've been involved with in the past in that it was very difficult to get into and the sediments and the deposit itself is also very different from anything we've seen before. So technically speaking, very hard to get into the cave, it's very difficult to access, very difficult to uh, uh, work with the context of the of the sediments and the fossils in terms of the excavations it was very easy to excavate in 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 the past places like Steekfontein you you spent uh, sometimes years to extract fossils from the cave here the fossils are just sitting in in uh, muddy sediments and you can pick them up from surface so uh, m many different differences in this particular case okay when you look at those fossils, what type of story are they able to tell us about uh, prehistoric humans? Or what type of hints are they giving us? Well, it, it, it's a little bit like uh, solving a murder mystery here. You try and work out the context of the fossils and how they are deposited in the sediments, when they were deposited in the sediments. And you look for traces on the fossils to see... Um, to put it simply, sort of to see what the murder weapon was, to see how they got in there, whether they were damaged or not, whether there were animals involved in, in, in their death or not, and maybe even whether they killed each other or not. You can look for cut marks. So we've been looking very systematically through the fossil collections in terms of how they are deposited in the cave and, and what the state of the fossils were to try and construct the story. And we're going to tell, tell you all about that later this morning. Obviously that story is going to unravel around 11 o'clock clock today uh, we know that also the deputy president of the country uh, is attending in terms of putting South Africa on uh, and the international map in terms of discoveries what does that uh, major discovery do for South Africa's uh, profile internationally well th this obviously is hugely important e every new hominid find is very important because they're so rare and to find one that has got so many fossil bones associated with it uh, makes it even you know make, makes it very very special uh, it's a new species it's a new context uh, a context we haven't seen before there seem to be all sorts of hints of different types of behavioral patterns in a new species of hominid that is not the same as us but different which is starting to ask questions about uh, symbolic behavior about uh, ways of, of treating the death um, that is going to be very, very interesting to science worldwide, but also asks questions about um, humanity itself and evolution. And South Africa will be right, will be right in the middle of this. So it's going to be very, very big for South Africa. Mm. It's not the first time that um, a major discovery has been made in this area. We know about uh, Mrs. Uh, Platts, we know about the little food. Uh, and the most of these fossils, you find that they date back to many, many millions of years. In this case, are we able to tell uh, the number of years that they've been here? Well, that, that's a bit of a, a problem at the moment. Um, most of the fossils here date back to anywhere from one and a half to three million years. But uh, with this particular setting, it's, it's been very difficult to get a reliable date out. We, we are working very hard to get a date because everybody is asking us that question. They all want to know how old these fossils are. Uh, the morphology of the fossils, the way the bones look, uh, make it seem that they're quite old. They've got quite a primitive sort of uh, body shape. But the geological setting, the, the fact that they're sitting in unconsolidated sediments, sort of gives you a hint that we may be dealing with something that is quite young. So we've got this uh, this this conflict at the moment that we're trying to solve. Um, because there is a lot of complexity in the geology in the cave, it's been difficult to date. There's a lot of contamination with clay, which has made it difficult to date. But we're working on it very hard because it's clearly a very important question.
Okay, there you have it from uh, Professor Paul Dax, one of the lead geologists who was involved with this uh, uh, process. As you know, we are reporting live from Maruping, where Vets University, in partnership with a number of stakeholders, are uh, about to make a major announcement with regards to the discovery of uh, fossils dating back many, many years. Is back to you in studio.